thing that I've noticed that you've guys done before is that you have the protective plastic on the screen here, but you have it oversized. So it gets stuck inside the frame of the printer, making it very, very hard to remove it. As you can see, there's the pull tab. It was actually underneath the metal. So um, either remove this before assembly or apply one of these after assembly so it's over top of the metal partially so that the end user can remove it because otherwise these are really really hard to remove the way you guys have this set up you have to very carefully pick at an edge of it until you can get a hold of it and that will really aggravate some people because they're they're actually hard to see with this plastic on here sometimes notice on here you have the tape to keep the Assuming Z stepper, yep, Z stepper wires from disappearing. Nice short little wire. Um, hopefully that is enough slack for that to connect. I believe, yep, they are on the inside, so that should be okay. Instead of tape, which looks really janky, doesn't look professional. Um, 3D print or mold a small clip-in plug that will clip right into that hole. Not to fill the whole hole, make it half the size of the hole. And so you just go clip and it covers up half of this hole. Looks like it was manufactured to go there and now the hole is too small to permit the plug to fit back through no matter how it turns. So this way you can have the wire come out, plug the hole with a little manufacturer, little insert, little plastic little unit that you would just go click and it would snap in place and lock itself in place and now this wire cannot fall through the hole if it were to turn sideways for example. Um, that would be better than the janky tape holding it on there because that just doesn't look good. You know, you got proper stamped holes now, all that's good. Um, something else that might be a good idea, steal a little bit from TiVo here, on their flash they actually CNC mill a little tiny chunk of the rail out so that the rails here fit perfectly right in there and it really locks things together really tight. Um, you might want to steal that from their playbook a little bit there. Alrighty, here we are inside the box. You have your solid state relay, all crimped connections, the beautiful meanwhile power supply, auto voltage sensing. Nice, I love it. You do not have a stepper damper on the stepper motor. I would like to see you go back to doing that. You had a stepper damper on the CRX and it made a pretty big difference. We'll see, maybe it won't make a difference on this one, but I would like to see you go back to using the stepper dampers, the, the good ones, the, the um, AstraSign stepper dampers. Um, IEC connection's fine. Normally I would prefer the IEC connection to be on the back and you do have room for it here, but I can see how on a printer this big that would actually be cumbersome to have to reach around behind the printer to find that power switch. So that actually kind of makes sense on this one, so I'm okay with that. I would like to see these be a little bit taller. Um, there was a gap in between this and the bottom. A screw could fit through there. So something to keep in mind. Um, I believe on the CRX these actually touched the bottom. So there was no place for a screw to go except where it was supposed to go. So be careful of that. Interesting. Okay, that's the ribbon cable going out the back to the carriage assembly. Here is your LCD assembly. I still would like to know if this SD card slot is accessible. If this SD card slot is accessible, that would make it very easy for someone to add a full-size SD card over here, which would be nice because I really hate the micro SD cards. They're just so tiny and easy to lose. Lower fan keeping the board. Wire management looks good. I have no complaints. I do like that we got some heat sinks on here. That's nice. Everything in here looks good. I see nothing to complain about. You have room to add. So if someone wishes to add a Raspberry Pi or something in here, there's plenty of room in here to integrate it. Um, yeah, this all looks good. We'll see how noisy these fans are, but I like what I see. This is looking excellent. So this is basically CRX affair, so I have no complaints here. Very good. All right, we are buttoned back up. These feet, I'd like to see you put these feet on the Ender 3. The little pads you have on the Ender 3, they suck. Put something taller. Or even use the same feet you already use on the Ender 3, just make them thicker. Yeah. 
this height is what you want. This height is what you want on all your printers because that gives you the clearance for cooling underneath the printer. So the air has some place to go as it vents. Okay, this is what you need. Basically a grommet like this, but for these holes. So that you can put the printer, the wires through, put the grommet in, and now the plug can't pull back through. That's what you need for these holes so you don't have to use that janky looking tape. I love the fact that you're stuck with the um, rectangular cut die compression springs. They work a lot better. I love the fact that you're sticking with the large leveling knobs. They are wonderful. Don't want naysayers say anything about that. Those leveling knobs are wonderful. It's one of the first things we all print for our printers is larger leveling knobs. And these are perfect. I'm going to inspect this in a minute. But first, let's open the goodie box. First, you have your putty knife. I would like to see you round those corner points here. Because those points right there, that's what digs into the bed and damages it. If you just round those corners off a little bit, you'll greatly reduce how much you damage your bed with that. Extra piece of the nice PTFE tubing. Thank you, I appreciate that. Spool holder components. I have no idea what that is. I guess we will find out in a moment. That is nippers and tools, ubiquitous USB cable, here is the spool holder, and the US power cord. Oops, something else in there. Empty bag. I don't know if there's supposed to be something in there, but there's not. Alrighty, no extra nozzle. What's in here? That's your tool kit. So here we have the end. Oh, there we go. I would like to see you guys include both of these since they are different. Oh, no, wait a minute. Did you change it so it's the same on both ends? Yes, you did. Smart. I'd still like to see two of those included, but that's okay. If it's the same on both ends, one's good enough. Hammer nuts for the spool holders. The primary bolts for the frame. Okay. Filament hold screw, spare parts, M525, excellent, they are marked. Filament holder nuts, excellent, they are all labeled. Um, I, I guess you don't need to label this, but it would be nice. I would like to eventually see you guys include a nice printed um, instruction manual. You know, have someone vet it, I'll help if you want, I don't care. Um, to have a nice English instruction manual, and it would be nice to have a bag large enough think on um, half piece of paper instruction manual so think letter size piece of paper think instruction manual that size letter size folded you know however many pages are necessary basic printing tips basic maintenance tips stuff like that take a look at what TiVo includes with their printers lately that's a very good start I like that but include that and then include a bag large enough to hold all of this plus the manual and have a label on that bag. Actually, you don't even need a label. As long as you have on the front here, CR10S Pro of the manual, when you put that in the bag, a bigger bag, with all the tools and the extra parts, then a person can store away that bag with that label, that manual in it, in their parts drawers, and they know everything in that bag goes to this printer. Just a little idea. It'll probably cost you 10 cents. But that would go a long way to making it easier for the end user to store all of their stuff. Just a suggestion. Not critical, not a design issue, just a suggestion for the future that would be a good idea. Okay. Um, we were taking this apart, so hold on.